Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to make an animated spray for all the old games, more than probably as Steam games. Um, you, you, you required a VTF edit and Adobe Photoshop CS3. You could use CS4 or CS2, but in CS2 you need image ready. I made a different type of tutorial for this, so I'll probably put it in my description link. Um, well, first. You need to find an image, like a GIF or maybe a video, like example I've got How Can She Slap Me one. Um, basically if you find a video just take a screenshot, maximum five if you want it to be animated, um, of the favourite like frames. Um, and once you take a screenshot just paste it in paint like shown. and um, you know, I'll just do an example. You just print screen, open up paint, paste, save, whatever you want to call it. And you just go to Photoshop, go File, New, 100 by 158. You have to have 158 because that's the maximum um, animation. Um, resolution you can use. You can use smaller, but why would you want it to be smaller? Click OK, it will come up with a square. It will look tiny, but trust me, in game it will look bigger. Um, there may be a lock down here, just double click and click OK to get rid of it. Now open up those images. I've got four. Just select them all and open them and I'll open them all. Um, basically, what you got to do is I'll just get them down to size. Um, we'll find the first one first. Here it is. Um, just basically, we'll just grab the YouTube size screen first, and go to your 158 square. Just paste it in, and just basically do that to each one, and get rid of. Um, the screens when you do it because you don't need them anymore. Yeah, I'm just copying and pasting them if you wonder what I'm doing. And one more. Okay, um, you notice that down here it's open up layers, you don't need the last la this layer, so I'll get rid of that, drag it into the bin. I've got four layers, but they're all, um, like, not matched up, so what we're going to do is just untick the eyes for the two, three, and four. Select one, I mean, it has to be highlighted. Use Control T, um, I think you can, it will go to edit, free transform and basically you will see like six squares show up and just drag it down to about that size um... you can leave out the... yeah I'll just leave out the... Oh, and just fill the screen up with the picture I'm just doing this roughly just to demonstrate how this works done. Once all the frames are all the right size, go to Window and click Animation. And basically, what we're going to do is click uh, five times on the duplicate layer selected layers so we've got five frames go to the first one gonna untick all of them and decide number one go to the second one um, unselect the first one and choose the second one unselect the first one check the third one and unselect the fourth one I mean first one and select the fourth and basically we'll, we'll just and we'll have a look. Okay. 
get a bit too fast. Okay, um, I had to edit this part, but I did notice that um, that um, some didn't actually look quite well. So I'm gonna get rid of the last frame, number four, by dragging it into a trash bin. Um, because it was just too big. Um, then basically go to file, export, render video, select your folder, just gonna go empty mine because I've already done it. Um, select your folder, create a new one if you want. Call I call them to slap me because it's part of the video. Yeah, and then you click render. Note that this is going to make like because it's got 30 frames, I don't know how, but it's going to do every single frame. So when you come open up your folder, you'll notice it's heaps. Basically, what you're going to do is um, find your first one, then select your second one, and drag down to 29 frames. Basically, you will notice that it's going to be different. Delete, yes. And then you do the same thing, go to the next one. The delete, yes, and then, the, and then the last one, delete. So you only have three. Um, then you're gonna copy it, copy the first one, then paste it two more times. And then the the next animation, copy that, and then paste it two times. And then copy the next one and then copy it two more times. So you have three of each. Okay, now open up VTF Edit. Go to Import. Go to open up your Slap Me folder and just select all of them. Open. Um, click, make sure the basic are the same settings. Um, this is that thing I was talking about, nearest power of two, triangle nine. You can have like heaps of frames, if depending on what size. Click open, and it'll come up, and you click play. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> um, you can slow it down by adding more frames. Like how I said, make three of each. You can make four of each, five of each. Um, but basically, you just go to um info. I think it's 120 or 125. If it's over that, it will um, be invisible. But 96, that's perfect. Base, and then after that, just go to save as. Call it slap me if you want. And then um, 